Hey, how's it going? Thanks for taking time of your day to watch this quick video I made for you. In this video analysis, I'm going to show you exactly where Fix a Roof is online, how much business is your website bringing you versus your top competitor, and I'm going to show you how to dominate online searches um, whenever someone's looking for a roofing company, a roofer in uh, in Brooklyn, New York. All right, so. Um, as you can see, we're on my business page. My company is Amp Local. We're an internet marketing agency. Um, so please visit the site for more information. So I just want to jump right into the video. So here's your website, Fix a Roof, right? Um, so as you may already know, over 90% of the population, when they need a service in their area or, or in their local city, they're going to use Google. It's the most powerful, popular way to get information from the internet. Um, and 96% of them click on the very first page of Google alright so if you're not on page one you might as well be on page 20 alright so I looked up the major keywords that you're ranking your business for so I'm using this tool from Alexa um, so right now it looks like uh, almost hundred percent of your business is coming from these two keyword searches roofing contractors and roofer alright so um, this is the uh, Google keyword planner so right now in New York, where you're located, you know, anywhere between 25,000 and 28,000 times per month, somewhere in that ballpark, um, you know, down to 12 and or so at the end of the year. But still, there's tons of uh, profitable, uh, very valuable uh, prospects looking for your services, looking for a roofing company or, or roofing in general. Um, so I'm being at the top of these searches organically is going to bring your business more and more revenue all right so there's a there's a huge market for uh, your uh, business there in new york um, so as you can see i'm able to target and figure out how many times someone's searching uh, these keywords per month uh, you know from roof to roofing um, roofing companies roof repair roofing contractors all these very profitable keywords that we want or are going to rank your business in um, for this video analysis, I'm going to be focusing on a keyword you're ranked in and also uh, probably the most profitable keyword, which is simply roofing. Okay. Um, so to find you, you know, someone's going to type in these keywords in Brooklyn or New York and, and they're going to be looking for the local roofers or roofing companies. All right. So look, Brooklyn Roofing. Um, so let me show you this real quick. These are your Google ads. You may already know this. This takes up about 20%. Um, these are your Google Maps. <coughs> Excuse me. This takes up about um, a, another 20 to 30 percent, um, and then the organic rankings. This takes up almost half of the whole page, so 40 up to 50 percent. So this is really where actually most people are going to be clicking from. So you want to be at the top of these uh, these searches, right? For organically. Um, so for this keyword search, Brooklyn Roofing, uh, you are located. Well, actually, so you're actually number three in the maps. Okay, so you are visible there. But then you have these two guys above you, um, and then you are actually ranked on the second page for this for this keyword. So you're ranked number twelve right here for FixRoof.com. Okay. All right. So. Let's see. Let me show you this chart real quick before I show you anything else. Um, the number one ranked person organically, like I said, controls 35% at minimum of all the, the clicks on the page. Um, as you trickle down, number two, 18%, number three, 11%. So at 12, on that keyword search, you're, I mean, you're barely even pulling in 1%. Um, like I said, if you're, on, if you're not on page one, you might as well be on page 20. So let me show you some other keywords I found you in. For this one, this is Brooklyn Brooklyn Roofing Contractors. All right, so you're actually number two in the maps. Okay, that's good. Um, organically, though, you're ranked um, right here, number nine. So very far down on the list. So as you can see, number nine is um, you know maybe three percent. All right, and this you know these searches are getting hundreds of searches per month. So I mean, if you're top organically, you're pulling in most of that business. All right. Um, here, which one is this? Brooklyn Roofer. Okay, so this one's good. You're at the top of the maps on this one, but organically, um, you are number seven. Okay. And then what? Let's do one more. Brooklyn Roofing Company. Again, you are one of the maps, but then organically, you're ranked. Let's see, right here at number nine. So pretty far down. Your organics, your your local maps is not too bad. 
um, there's a lot of room for, there's still a lot of room for improvement but definitely organically um, to move you up I mean just being from number eight nine ten at the bottom of the page moves from three percent up to literally um, you know multiplying the type of the number of clients you're gonna have by 10 and 12 13 times um, so that's that's the benefit or of organic uh, rankings on Google all right so some of your top competitors um, in these searches I'll give you for example um, for like Brooklyn roofing um, this guy green roofing okay is one of your competitors I'm sure you know you all of your competitors um, for for Brooklyn roofing contractors um, one of your top competitors again is uh, green roofing and then the best roof in NYC um, for this one Brooklyn roofer I'm sorry if I'm going a little quick um, fabulous roofing so you can see that there's competitors up there that's taken a lot of market I'm going to show you exactly how many clicks they're getting and then premier roofing company is one of your top competitors for a roofing company organically so this is how much um, business let me real quick so this is how much business your websites bringing you from organic uh, searches all right these are people that don't know who you are you know that know they need a roofing service or a re-roof or a roof repair in your area and it's how many times they're finding you per month so around 40 43 times per month your your website's getting hit and obviously there's a conversion percentage of those all right so 43 let me show you a top of, a couple of your top competitors so this is best roofing NYC so they're literally getting twice as much business as you from organic uh, rankings on Google all right and then here's another one this is premier roofing company I mentioned these earlier so these guys are getting almost twice as much as business than you and they've had a couple nice spikes um, earlier this year over 200 visitors uh, new leads per, per month so the potential market is there and it's huge and I really think that your market's still untapped just because of all of these keywords I mean there's over 20,000 times a month someone's looking for roofing services and uh, to be able to target these keywords individually and rank you higher and higher on Google is going to bring you tons of more revenue than where you are now so the profit margin is incredible um, the, the potential uh, profit margin so that's kind of like where you're at now versus your competitors. Let me show you how to do it. How do we do it? How do we dominate these uh, these online searches? So Google has an algorithm. It has 200 determining factors. I'm going to talk to you about four of the very most important ones. Once we nail this, these four, everything else kind of just falls into place, all right? Um, the first thing I want to talk to you about is your website. So I can see that your website was built. Um, I saw it was built around 2003 or so. Um, so the website's been up, you know, for about 13, 14 years, roughly. So um, I can just tell at a first glance it needs an update, pretty much. You know, so as you may already know, 80% of the population, when they need a service, they're actually going to use their phone, their iPhone or Android. All right, they're not going to be on their desktop uh, the way I am now or the way you may be viewing this video. Um, so being uh, having a mobile friendly site is going to be very beneficial. So for you, your mobile friendly your site uh, fix a roof is not mobile friendly. So I ran it through the Google mobile friendly test. Um, so you know on a phone, text is too small, um, content wider than the screen, so it doesn't adjust correctly. So there's some issues. There's a lot of errors with the site as far as the mobility. So getting a new uh, updated mobile friendly Google friendly site is something we're definitely going to want to look at. To get started, it's not a show. It's not a complete showstopper, but Google did release an algorithm update that penalized, uh, you know, companies that didn't have a mobile-friendly site. So that's part of the reason why you're probably lower in the rankings compared to your competitors because their sites are are mobile-friendly in your in your local market. Um, so if you're going to be in this business, you know, for decades on the road, this is definitely you know people want to be are faster. They want to be serviced quickly. Um, so this is one way that that's um, driving that all right so next is your I want to talk to you about your actual website um, you know so if we do do you a new website and everything we're gonna make sure we want to have keyword research and authoritative content so what that is um, pretty much the keyword research is if we're gonna rank you for all these keywords um, that's targeted there's actually 681 keywords and they all get searched you know 10 to 100 times per month I mean, so like I said, the, the, the potential is huge there, but we want to build out at least 1,000 to 2,000 words of content. So right now, it looks like you have, you know, maybe about 
five, six hundred words, um, which is not too shabby. Um, but we're going to want to build out a little bit more content, uh, mention Brooklyn, all the cities of uh, New York that you service um, multiple times and highlight and bold it. I see that some of that work has been done. It's just that um, the site's been, a, it's, it's a little aged um, and it can use an update. So building more authoritative content on the page, 1,000 to 2,000 words is gonna be perfect for your market. Um, let me show you what that looks like. I went to Google, typed in elephant. So Wikipedia is number one on uh, notorious for these searches because of their authoritative content. So if you look at this page, they have endless amounts of information about elephants, their evolution, what they eat, where they sleep everything all right so this is kind of what i'm talking about one authoritative content so this is like fifty thousand words for your market you know one thousand to two thousand is going to be perfect so this is a little excessive so um just to give you an idea i don't want to beat that dead horse um but that's what i mean by authoritative content so what i just talked to you about is kind of like the on-page optimization stuff you know the mobile friendly site the keyword research built in with the um with the uh authoritative content um, so now I'm going to talk to you about off-page optimization. Um, so uh, the Google Maps, all right. So getting ranked number one in Google Maps is is a great way to bring more business. Um, it's not where most of it, like I said, most of it's coming from the organics. But to be here, it's it, it's great for visibility and and for marketing and brand awareness. Um, so to you have to be Google verified, which you are. You have a Google uh, listing. So, but these listings, you have to make sure you fill them out 100%. So we want to get you number one in every single keyword. Every time we search, we want you to be number one in every single keyword. And that's going to bring you more and more business. So what's going on right now is you have these listings on the internet. Okay, some examples are obviously like Google, Yahoo, Facebook, Bing, Yellow Pages, White Pages, all right? When you do them, you have to have your business name, address, and phone number identical because if not, Google's going to slap you down. So right now, um, you know, you have quite a few filled out. You have a 31% error rate overall. Okay, so that's kind of why you're not pulling in so much business from the from the maps. Um, so you have deficiencies in your business name, your address, your missing listings. Okay, missing listings. This is the top 50 in the country. You want to be listed in all of these. Okay, so this is something we're going to get done for you. Um, there's actually thousands of these, of these listings. Every city and every niche market has a very specific set that you want to be listed in. All right, so your competitors are doing this for sure, and um, we're going to make sure that we get this taken care of for you over time. All right, um, so that's citations, and this is what really gets you ranked number one on the Google Maps. Next thing I want to talk to you about is backlinks, or backlinks. So, um, this is primarily responsible for getting you ranked number one in organics and in, in the top of the organics. So right now you're kind of like, you know, on the second half of the page or on the second page for organics. And this is where being at the top of the organics is where all the like serious money made, like literally doubling and tripling your business as we rank on the keywords, getting ranked up there is going to be very important. This is what, how, what gets you there. All right, so Google really is a popularity contest. Um, the more votes you have, it's like running for president. The more votes you have, the more chances you're going to win presidency, right? Um, so these are your votes. These are essentially your votes. So right now, what these numbers are saying is there are eight referring domains mentioning you on the Internet. So these are pretty much eight people talking about you online. When well, Google wants to know how many people are talking about you online and are they important people or not? And that's your trust flow. This is how high authoritative are those websites or people mentioning you on the Internet. So you're at a trust flow of 14. So let me show you this chart. At a 14, you're not quite meeting medium quality. Okay, you're kind of in between low and medium. Okay, in this realm here. All right. So at eight, um, it's not too many. So definitely, I think this is what's going to get you up getting more. So let me show you your competitors. So this is Best Roof in NYC. They're how ranked higher you organically. Um, they have 52 links, but their trust flow is lower. But this is what Google is looking at. They have a lot more websites linking them online. So that's where they're beating you, right? Here's another one of your competitors, Premier Roofing Co. Um, they have 20 links. Their trust flow is just one point lower, but look, they have 20 links. That's over twice as many. Um, and the other guy had, I mean, how, many, how much more? Not nine times as many. So um, the links and the domains linking you are is going to be a key role. 
Um, but of course, the trust flow is very important as well. But right now, they're dominating you and the number of uh, links that they're getting. So why is this? How can we improve this? So actually, our company, we can link you to some very, very powerful websites um, that we own. Um, and that's going to give Google, uh, give you that popularity and show Google that you are deserving of those higher rankings, right? So all of our links are 25 and plus. They're actually off the charts. So I want to show you one of our clients. Um, they do solar panels uh, from LA to San Diego. Uh, so we built out this custom site that's pulling a ton of leads. So it's really built for functionality and um, conversions. So you may check it out. Um, but we built this from a site up. So look, we pointed 16 links to their site. Um, and the trust flow is 32. So as you can see, the trust flow is completely off the charts. All right. Um, and just another uh, background here. So external backlinks could be, um, you know, blog postings and uh, Facebook and social media and stuff like that. But this is what Google wants to know. How many referring domains, how many websites are actually linked to your business and are they high authoritative? So that's the type of quality you can expect that we can bring to your business, right? All right, so that pretty much um, concludes my video analysis. Again, I appreciate the time you took to watch this. Um, so please, you have my, my name, my number, and my email. Uh, please reach back out. We would love to partner with you and um, you know, help you grow your business even more online and uh, bring some real um, you know, web traffic and bring more sales to the business. So again, I thank you for your time for watching this, and you have a great day.